Dora, there she is, in her usual spot, writing, writing away. What is it, her 300th short story? Amazing. This is one of those stories you really have to see to believe. It's about a seven-year-old girl with an amazing talent. Adora Svitak tells Como for Jean Sharifi it all starts in her head. Her feet don't even touch the floor, and yet this seven-year-old can do what few her age can do. Tell us, Adora. You really should ask my mom about that. Mom? We are very proud of her achievement. Adora Svitak can type 60 words a minute. That fast? Yes. But it's not the typing that makes Adora so remarkable. It's what she's typing. Short stories that she's written, one after another, after another. You just can't stop writing, can you? Mm, probably not. <laughs> Adora has written almost 300 short stories. Anyone else in the family a writer? Uh, no. She's written Julie and Her Magic, Abigail, Naomi and Angela. Right now she's working on a story called Stephanie and Amanda. And I can just pour my ideas out on paper. This girl from Redmond has been an author half her life. For her, writing is like breathing. Does she, she know about them? And the writing is punchy. Opening lines that draw you in, simple stories with universal themes, friendship, trust, kindness. How do you know what you're going to type next and write about next? Mm. Well, a lot of times I just get an idea and then I know what to type next because it's in my head. In her head are ideas. You have a lot of ideas. <laughs> Thanks. In her head, grown-up words, wincing. Some words her mother doesn't even understand. Special English is my second language. It's simply splendid. Her work, and even though she isn't a published author yet, maybe she will be by the time her feet touch the floor. John Sharifi, Como 4 News. We're told Adora is homeschooled. She's been working with kids her age who have difficulty reading. And by the way, she's pretty good at that. She reads at least two books every day.